Hey, John with Alfred Homesteading. Today is uh, April the 11th, and uh, a couple days before my birthday, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show you. Uh, we tried to take, <clears throat> give you an update on what was going on here. And here's the wall that uh, we have completed. Um, actually tried to lift it with the straps and it actually cantilevered and shifted everything, tried to lift it with the backhoe and uh, caused some issues. So what we did, um, watched a couple videos online. Hey guys, I just had to stop the video for a second because I've learned a ton of information from Heath over at uh, Red Poppy Ranch and um, anytime we get stuck I usually go over and look at some of his videos and a few other people but uh, he's been um, very detailed with putting um, uh, videos online on, on how to uh, do different types of builds and uh, majority of these he does all by himself which is just unfreaking believable. But anyway I just wanted to say um, this guy here, um, this is a video I was watching on some of the framing and um, again it is uh, Red Poppy Ranch and um, got a great channel so you should check them out. And they suggested going ahead and getting all your decking. So uh, we're going to go ahead and attach all of this decking and stuff over here. All the way down onto this to give it more rigidity and then we'll try to lift it up again. Once that's in place we'll be able to build the, uh, the west wall here and the uh, east wall down there. Now um, Originally, our bathroom uh, was going to be in this section here, but we decided we were just going to go ahead and add on um, another 10 feet to this. So we have some more bricks and stuff over there, um, some more concrete. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more piers here. We're just going to extend this out another uh, 10 feet in this section here, which then makes this spot where our toilet's going to be. And uh, from this central spot where the toilet is we are going to take and you can see right there that's where we're going to put it's about 60 feet out and where that tire is that's where our um, uh, septic tank and stuff is going to be because we're still going to be wanting to drive <clears throat> go back out here we're still going to be wanting to drive up uh, in this area here so we'll have a septic tank here we'll have um, lateral lines and stuff uh, heading downhill uh, that direction so I've got to get this this area dug out here um, get the uh, uh, we're just going to build directly on top of here instead of digging down for the pads and stuff and uh, we'll use, use rebar and stuff to support it so anyway So that's kind of where we're at with uh, the project so far today. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on to uh, slow-mo and we can watch some of the digging process and getting the, uh, the other lines and stuff put in. I'm going to also work on uh, some of the concrete blocks here and get that rolling. Okay.
Okay, we have just laid the zip board down and uh, we're going to be checking square. Looks like it's slightly off here. Got to figure out why compared to as we look further down. So we got to check that and see what's up with that. I did put these little spacers in it. It looks like it's almost exactly the spacer width difference in that spot, but it was eight feet all the way across. And this side here looks okay. <laughs> 